everyone, welcome to my first ever YouTube video. I am Sinead from Sinead Holly Painting. Um, today I'm going to share with you how I'm using the Midori Traveler's Notebook for traveling. Right now I am at the beginning of a 18 month to two year trip in South America and Central America and possibly North America. It keeps changing. Um, I love this system because you can set up how you want and I always want it to be a bit of everything. So I can do art in here, it can be a journal, it can be a planner, it can hold bits and pieces of leaflets, you name it, I want to put it in here. Um, this is my setup at the moment. I have the, the dark brown Midori. Uh, it's a few years old now, you can see it has marks on. And I'm just going to show you a flip through now that I've finished my first insert and how I'm going to be continuing it on through my trip. So I'm just going to open it up here for you. So I have actually one, three main inserts and one plastic insert in here. Um, in the beginning I just have a few, um, these actually came from my studio, my art studio that I had to pack away for this trip and I had these up on the wall so they're just different, different sayings that I find really inspiring and I've just put them in here for now I don't know what actually how I'm going to use them on this trip or maybe I'll journal them in but I have a little pocket here from the Midori and I've also put on some post-its and in here right at the front sorry I have my affirmation at the moment which is one from Carl Jung which is your vision will become clear only when you look into your heart who looks outside dreams, who looks inside awakens, which really resonates with me as an artist and an art therapist and how I combine these things together to make my own art. Uh, the first insert I have is the Midori insert, uh, the art paper, with the perforated pages. Um, I've had it for a while actually from another trip and I've just put it in here for this trip. Um, I don't actually work inside this book. Um, I use it to paint, use these papers to paint on or tear out and paint on and then stick them into my main um, journal. Um, at the moment I'm liking having this at the front but I might change it over because I actually don't find these pages that great for painting. Uh, with watercolour especially, uh, the way that I like to do it is layering with lots of wet. Um, wet on wet and then it tends to pull off and I don't know it's okay for some things but I'm not sure I like it so I'm thinking about a way that I can have a front some kind of front insert that I can put in watercolor pages that can be also taken out but that see how that goes I use these ones at first so that's just my friend so I just I also just loosely put in because I'm not sure if I'm going to use that for something else or cut it out but I just love the eyes shapes. So the next thing oh, that would be in here would, is what I keep in here in this front flap of my plastic insert and I also stuck on another one of these um, card holders if you get them in pack of three from Midori. I don't know what number that is but I can find a link and put it below if you want to get some of these card holders and half. So in this, in this big pocket here I have my Travel watercolors, um, which I made this set. This is a peerless watercolor set, um, and I made this palette for traveling. Uh, they don't last forever, so you can see some colors are already starting to go. But it's such a great idea having a flat like this. And we need then is your water brush, and you're like ready to go, which is awesome and really good for minimalist traveling um, and especially for me because we're going to be doing some long hikes in Chile so this is the way that I can take paint with me without having to bring my travel watercolour actual set that I also have with me 
this is a way to bring it so light and so flat. So I'm enjoying playing with these colours at the moment. So they just live in there. And then in, in this flap I've just got um, a little thing of sticky dots. Uh, again, just for on the go if I want to stick something <clears throat> as we're travelling around because I won't, I don't carry glue sticks with me when we're on the move because we're backpacking. So I have just uh, one backpack, a 35 litre and a front backpack. So I am travelling quite light, although I do have a lot of stuff in a minimalist way and that's just something to put in there that I thought was interesting. The back pocket here I just have <clears throat> another thing that I made of Midori. Ah, uh, sorry, not Midori, wasabi tape. <coughs> <coughs> I made it really thin um, so that it doesn't bulk out the book when it's open and I can still stick down things again on the go. It's just another sticking option. I have a bigger version of this in my travel art kit, as you can see here. Much thicker. And if I put that in here, it would just be, make it so thick. And I wanted to bring it with me, so as this one's out, it can be topped up or vice versa. These are like one whole roll of wasabi tapes of each colour that I bought for this trip. I haven't used that much of it yet, but maybe I will use more. These are just, <laughs> I love post-its. And these are just little tabs, and I thought they were really cool. I got them from the pound shop if you're in the UK. Watching this, you know the pound shop. And this was one pound, and you get all these colours, plus a ruler, a plastic ruler something that can be used to write on the back of afterwards or well, I don't know, it definitely will have a use. At the moment I don't use these in my journal so much but I use them in guidebooks and things that you want to go and see. But I just keep them here. So this is my main um, journal, my main insert which is finished now. Um, this is not a Midori insert, this is from an art shop. <clears throat> Very cheap books that you can get in the UK. Um, they have great um, art paper in them, I think, for the price of them, about £2, and I just cut it down here because it's the same length, but it, yeah, the same length, but the width was too long, so I just cut a bit off, um, so it's not massively even, but it doesn't really bother me, and they're cheap. And I'm able to bring more with me um, for refills. I have, I brought actually four with me separately that I can now put in the next one that I finished this one. So I'm going to give you a quick flip through of my um, insert. <clears throat> so I'm using this as a, um, an art journal and a normal diary, I guess, of my trip. And I like to have it all consistent. So if I paint something, I have it where I paint it. For me, that makes sense to look back on it in the future. Um, this first little page, I just stuck in a little envelope that I put in. <clears throat> I'm quite, I like to collect leaves and things from where I am and some of them dry out really nicely so then I put them in here to take home with me. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. And I also have some, this is a really beautiful flower, um, bright red. They grow everywhere on the bushes here. Um, right now I'm mentioned in, in Colombia and it's the city of eternal spring and that is true for the, if you like plants and plant life and I'm amazed by the colours everywhere. All year round it's like 21 degrees and then there's just a bit tickets in here that I didn't use in the journal but related to the trip so it's possible that when I get home in the future this, these things might be used for something. Um, I like to make photo albums of my trips, like old school, because I know we have a digital and that's great, but I never look at digital as much as I like to look at albums, and I'm thinking when I'm an old lady, sat in my chair, I can share my grandkids, my trips, and it's just a nice thing um, to do. So this is the front page, actually I always do the front page last, so normally it's blank to the end, and then I just do something that inspires me from this time of the trip. These colours are very much the colours of Magdalene, lots of greens and blues, and there's magenta plants and orchids growing everywhere and this is a little bird um <clears throat> i call it the skunk of medellin it has like a skunk head and bright yellow belly and they're really cute and everywhere and that was done <coughs> on watercolor paper which is not something i normally work with in my practice I'm, i work with acrylics but i thought for this trip it's something i can 
practice different techniques and work smaller. So I'm trying to work with watercolour and seeing how that can become something I use for my practice. Uh, our trip actually started in Portugal and it's just, it was a wedding, but a family wedding, which I was writing about here. And this lovely cork postcard that you can get everywhere there in Lisbon. Which I think are really cool. Um, and then, yeah, just more ideas for a travel blog that we might do. I'm traveling with my partner, Will, and he's thinking about doing a blog and this is ideas for a blog. Um, after Lisbon, we went to Istanbul for two days because our flight from Lisbon to Colombia was stopping off there, so we decided to stop off for two days. It was a quick trip, so not much time for journaling, so really I just wrote what we did two days, seeing, trying to see as much as possible, and then did a nice little collage here of all the things that we saw. Such a beautiful city. <coughs> <coughs> Yeah, such a beautiful city that I am. Um, I hope that we get to get back there for longer uh, one day. Um, this is my bookmark, which I attached a little shell on the bottom, which I found here on the coast, Pacific coast of Colombia. And then we're starting um, a project now that I'm on uh, called Hashtag Drawing Will. So if you follow me on Instagram, you'll be able to see my daily updates of this project. It's um, a year long challenge of drawing Will, my partner, every day. Um, because I'm a painter and I paint with acrylics and colors and um, not much drawing involved. And I don't really like drawing, but I thought maybe I can get better at drawing every day and draw Will as my subject. <clears throat> just as a challenge to see if I can improve my drawing skills, which I think would improve my painting skills as well. So these are the first few days of this. Um, a lot of times it doesn't really look like him. This one especially does not look like him. I don't know who that is. <coughs> so it's all in Bogota. And then moving on, getting into Medellin. Uh, I went to Jungle. Uh, this, this one really doesn't like him either, but I really like a little feather there, so that was cute. Um, this I did with the peerless watercolors, just putting on colors randomly, and then afterwards drawing on top and seeing what images I can find within the picture. This is a practice I use quite a lot um, to uh, help me find my images in an intuitive painting style, which is the way that I paint naturally. Um, I will put a link to my website as well if you're interested in seeing some of my paintings, my recent paintings, um, which this one, <laughs> this sketch really related to actually because um, my recent paintings was Viva La Boba and this came out, I didn't even see that coming. So it's very interesting this way of doodling I guess. Um, and there we got more of Will, uh, you know, and also some journaling of what we did in the jungle. Um, a painting, again, this is related to the Viva La Boba project, the exhibition I just had in, oh, when was that? Uh, <coughs> it was July, oh, yeah, end of July in Holland, I had an exhibition and that was the theme and I just did this drawing to keep me in that zone that I, you know, keep me being an artist, I guess. Suddenly I have no studio. This is my studio and it's being a transition and getting used to this way of painting is much smaller. Uh, another drawing wheel, one I really like, because I, I did paint on the backgrounds. Um, I do love colour. Journaling again, lots more wheel. Slowly starting to look more like him. These stickers are cool, they're on the bottles here, they love. Catholicism and I especially love the Virgin Mary here. There's so many statues of her and shrines and also orchids that grow on trees. Oh my god, so many of those. Oh, that is just something I would never get bored of. It's just beautiful. So more hashtag drawing more day 22 now. Slowly I am, can feel an improvement of my drawing techniques. I am drawing very quickly every time, trying not to spend more than 10 minutes in each drawing. More sketching I guess than drawing. Uh, that was another attempt at finding images. This one I didn't find anything in, and sometimes 
<clears throat> that's the way it works with intuitive painting. I like the colours in. Um, yeah, so you can see how mostly in this thing I'm using it for my hashtag drawing world creative project and general journaling of what we're doing. Um, something I got into doing this as only recently on my trips the last few years because I think back to trips I do when I was 18 I don't really remember them that well anymore. Um, so I think it's really good to write down what you've done, <coughs> who you've seen, things that you've seen. Um, yeah, because when you're old and you look back on your trip, it's great to be able to read back on these things. So more drawing will. Um, this one was day 30, so I did kind of something special with lots of colored pencils, which I really loved doing. I drew it first with the yellow, and went over with different colors, and just kept going over and over and over it. So it had a bit of a trippy effect, but I love all the colors together. So coming to the end of the journal now, last two pictures of the will. This one's just really weird. Um, then he got his hair cut, and it was like, who is this guy? I mean, even this picture of him, I find, who is this guy? Sometimes I draw some really weird people when I try and draw well. Maybe I'm drawing, I don't know, there's something else. But, uh, and this is the last page. Uh, I just journaled the last page of what we did. And we're getting my driving licenses here in Colombia. Um, and these are very dodgy, powerful size pictures. <laughs> and I just thought they were funny, so I stuck these in for when we look back on them when we're old. So that would be the end of the first journal. On the front I wrote journal 1, October to November. This will be taken out now. So I can put my next journal in. So you can see that's just in the middle. So very easy to get in and out. <clears throat> and this is where I post home to my mum in the UK and she will look after them until the end of my trip. So when I come back my trip I have all these lovely inserts waiting for me because the weight of carrying all these around is just not possible, especially for such a long trip. And I like the idea that they'll be there when I go home next to see my mum. And the last, the, um, the back pocket of the plastic insert, the zipper pocket, I just have a few bits and pieces in, I'll show you quickly. <coughs> Sorry, I'm going to cough. Um, this is just a watercolour postcard. Um, I want to send a postcard to someone, I can sketch something or just paint random. Um, then I've got like a card, it's a blank card, which I got the idea from Seaweed Kisses. Um, such a great idea to have a card on you so that if you stay with someone or someone really helps you out on your trip, which always happens if anyone goes on long trips, you know things go wrong or something, you know, and someone really helps you out or someone's super kind and it's just nice to have this on you. So you can just give someone a, a nice card to say thank you. A few more of these brown envelopes. I just think these just love me in brown envelopes right now. I don't really know what I'm going to do with these. They're probably just for other journals. And then I've got a business card. More post-its because you can never have too many post-its. Some elastic bands because everything in my bag is elastic band. When we're traveling, I literally put, wrap everything up in elastic bands in my bag because you can then fit so much more things in. I have another ruler for my Filofax, um, and it's not really anything, probably don't need it. And then just some little ducks, because I absolutely love ducks, and these might be used for a future picture. A lot of these things I just literally picked up from my studio as I was packing up. So much stuff, it's unbelievable. Trying to pack so much stuff into this little book, and my travel art kit was a challenge, I tell you. Um, the last insert is... <clears throat> One that I originally thought there was going to be a calendar and a planner, which I still think it is, I guess. Um, the front, I've just got longer post-its, which I like for writing lists of things I need to get, to do. But to be honest, I use that much more in my Midori passport size um, notebook, which I'm also traveling with as a journal, as a, not a journal, sorry, which I'm also using as a wallet and as a general notebook. Um, so I tend to like shopping this and that, but it's also good to have it in here if I only have this on me. Someone wants paper or something, I can give them a bit of this paper, you know, while they're ripping out my book. So I don't have a front page for this one yet, I haven't done that. Um, <coughs> this is literally just a calendar view that I drew myself. 
Um, maybe I'm going to use a printout for next time. I haven't done one for November. Uh, it's nearly the end of November, so I'm guessing maybe it wasn't something I needed after all. But I'm going to... Maybe I'll do one for December and January because we're going to be travelling a lot more then. Because right now I've been living in Medellin for the last five weeks, six weeks, because we're studying Spanish also, so it's much more of a, a living feeling here. And I hadn't felt the need to look at this too much, so maybe it was something I didn't need as much as I thought I did. So I guess I'm going to evolve that. <clears throat> and from the middle, then I use from the middle elastic of this book. It's more of a uh, general planner and notebook from workshop planning to um, things I find I want to do or any other goals. This is like a relation goal, relationship goals. And yeah, I haven't got much in there yet, but it's nice to have this in here and have it separately from my <clears throat> general insert because this will get sent home and this is something, these goals are something I want to have with me. Um, maybe on here, um, in the new year, I might change this setup and have a, um, it'd be nice to have a vision board because it's something we always had on the wall at home and then, now we don't have that, but, <coughs> excuse me. But yeah, we'll see how I feel. I'm going to have a think about how this will change in January, I think. <clears throat> the last thing I have in here isn't actually an insert. It is just um, a little notebook that I've clipped on with a bulldog clip. Yeah, I don't know what these are called. Bulldog clip, I guess. Um, <clears throat> and this is going to be my friend, Lalani, who is a great chef in Amsterdam. If you ever go there, look her up. Lalani Lewis, she makes awesome Caribbean food. And she gave it to me because she's like, please write down recipes along the way. And I was like, that's a great idea. So, and so this is my little recipe book and I'm going to send her back recipes as I find them. Um, it only has one recipe in right now, which is a chickpea salad, which we are loving for dinner and eating a lot of, because here in Colombia we have the big lunch and then a small dinner, so this has been really nice. Um, there is a recipe I want to put in here soon from the restaurant. They make really great rice, which I know she will love, so I can send that one to her. And this is, fits in there really nicely, it never moves, which is great. Um, Two bits. Let's just put that back in there. So that's my Midori Travers flip through. Uh, insert one <laughs> completed. I will probably do another flip through when I finish the next insert. <coughs> um, yeah, if anyone has any ideas on ways of putting in watercolor paper into here, making a book with it so that it can come out, please let me know that would be awesome and yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you next time